A amazing day to all. This is Teacher Dan Ragayan, and welcome to another episode of our Research Talks. Sa video ng ito, pag-uusapan natin how to formulate an action research title. This video is uh, developed especially for those who are still starting their action research journey. So for for as a start, tignan natin itong research title na nandito sa ating screen. Aghamig Action Approach, a cube. Its effects on the pupil's conceptual understanding on matter. Now, this particular action research title is consists of different elements. At alamin natin kung ano anong mga elements ito. Etong nakahilig ng yellow is what we call the intervention. Aghamic action approach or a cube is considered to be the intervention o yung strategy or yung technique o yung approach na gagamitin ninyo in order to solve a particular problem that, uh, that you propose in your action research. This one, this part highlighted in green is actually some descriptive words that you can include in um, preparing or in formulating your research title, putting its effects on the whether improving, enhancing, or any words that you find uh, relevant in your action research title. Magbibigay pa tayo ng ibang examples as we go on. This one, highlighted in red, is actually the participants of your action research. If you're an elementary teacher, syempre pupils, no? either grade 1 pupils to grade 6 pupils or even kindergarten learners no? as your participants. And this one, highlighted in blue, is actually the skill to be enhanced or the competency to be improved or the issue that you would like to address. So as you can see in this, in this action research title, meron tayong apat na colors na in-include dito. The yellow one, again, is the intervention or the strategy or approach na gagamitan natin. The green one are the descriptive words that you would like to include in the title. The red one is the participant of the study or the participants of the study. And yung nakahilig ng blue naman ay yung strategy, na, I mean the skill that you would like to enhance, the competency that you'd like to improve, or the issue that you'd like to address. So these four elements, I, I call them as the DIPs. Na para mabilis nating matandaan, gumawa ka ng acronym, I call it the DIPs. So ano yung DIPs na yan? I review natin. The D are actually the descriptive words highlighted in green. No, this one, kaya naka-green din yan. The yellow, of course, is the intervention. Okay? Yun yung gagamitin yung strategy or approach. The red one are the participants who will be part of your action research. Will it be high school? Will it be elementary? Or will it be tertiary students? And the letter S is the skill or competency to be enhanced. So this one are the skills or competency that we'd like to enhance or address. Now, AR title, as I mentioned earlier, has four important elements, which I call the DIPs. Descriptive words, the intervention, strategy, or technique, the persons involved, and the skills, competencies, or issues that you'd like to address. For descriptive words, pwede tayong gumamit dyan ng mga improving, for example, no? improving, enhancing, Increasing, pwede rin tayong gumamit ng its effects, effects on the, or a tool to improve, pwede mga ganyan. No? For intervention, okay, these are the technique. Ito yung magiging strategy na gagamitin nyo to address a particular problem. For example, the problem that you'd like to address is low reading comprehension. So ano kayang read, uh, intervention ang gusto nyo gamitin, no? ang gusto nyo i-test yung effectiveness. So that would be an intervention. The persons involved, what particular grade level would you want uh, your action research to focus on? Ito ba ay grade 4? Ito ba ay grade 10? Nasa sa inyo po yun, no? Kung anong level din kayo nagtuturo. And then the first the skills or competencies or issue is ano yung gusto natin i-address? Would it be reading comprehension? Would it be academic achievement? Would it be academic performance? Now, so as we go on to the next slides, we'll have different examples now, to better understand these four elements in an action research title. So uh, we have here an example. No? So our first example here, 
Reflective Journal Writing Technique, or RJWT, in improving the report writing skills of science to high school students. So this is actually the first action research I published in RMT Research Journal in 2014. Now let's dissect you know, the, the elements present in this research title. The first is the intervention or the strategy or the technique. So we call it the I of our dips. So this is the intervention, the reflective journal writing technique. Then nilagyan ko siya ng acronym. So after that, I include descriptive words, no, improving ginamit ko siya. No? Reflective journal writing technique, in improving. Pwede namang palitang enhancing. Pwede ganon. Increasing. Pwede. Okay, nasa sa inyo po yun, no? And then, we have the skills or competency. So, lagi nyo tatan tatanungin sa sarili nyo what you, what particular skill or competency that you'd like to improve or address or to enhance or what particular issue that you would like to work on. So in my case, I'd like to improve the report writing skills of my student. And so the skills there are report writing skills. And then I included the participants, science to high school students. Because in this particular action research, uh, pre-K to 12 pa ito. So under UBD ito, wherein we still have the second year high school. We, that's why I termed it science to high school students. So as you can see, present yung apat na elements na diniscuss natin kanina. No? So the intervention, I, the descriptive words, D, the skills, S, and the participants. So in this particular uh, action research title, we make use of the IDSP, the IDSP uh, framework, no? wherein we first uh, presented the intervention, then we call uh, we then present the presented the descriptive words and the skills and the participants. Now let's look at example number two. So this action research titled "Enhancing Students' Science Achievement Through Jigsaw 2 Strategy." is a collaborative action research which I did with my mentee, Sir James Tabiolo, and we published it in Journal of Science Learning, which is a journal based in Indonesia. Now, let's dissect again, just like what we did earlier, to see no, yung apat na elements. So, we started with the word enhancing. So, ano na ang element yan? So, of course, that is our descriptive word. Okay? Enhancing ginamit namin. And then we have here the word students. Of course, that is our P participants, students. And then, science achievement. Hmm. Ano kaya yung science achievement dito? This is the skill or the competency or the issue that we want to address or to resolve. So that is our skill, competence, and issue, science achievement. We want to enhance science achievement of whom? The students. Anong paraan? What will be the intervention? Jigsaw 2 strategy. So here, the Jigsaw 2 strategy Strategy in yellow serves as the intervention strategy or technique. So as you can see, we have four elements here. Again, in this particular example, so this is our example number two. Now, example number three, enhancing elementary people's conceptual understanding on matter through a side investigative pedagogical strategy or SPS. So again, let's dissect no, the different elements found in this action research title. We started with enhancing, same as previous. No, we use descriptive words, and then elementary pupils, of course, our participants in the study, conceptual understanding on matter. Okay, is the skill or competency or issue that we'd like to improve or enhance? In what way? In what intervention? Our intervention here is the side investigative pedagogical strategy or the SPS. So another technique when you want to present your research style or your intervention, you can uh, include no, the abbreviation parts since some of the strategies are too long, no, too wordy. So in this case, we have SPS. Para later on when we uh, describe it in the paper or in the manuscript, we can use the abbreviated part. And by the way, when you also formulate, for example, or when you select an intervention to use in your action research, there are also uh, some ways you can actually uh, utilize the existing uh, instructional strategies or research-based instructional strategies already. Or you can 
create or you can modify or you can contextualize your own uh, instructional strategy. In this particular study, which we published in Participatory Educational Research, a Scopus uh, Index Journal, we customized a localized instructional strategy in science, which we call the SPS. In another research talk, pag upsapan natin, how do we actually um, uh, choose or select you know, different intervention or different instructional set. Another example, I think this is our example number four. Okay, so Aghamic action approach, its effects on the pupil's conceptual understanding on matter. So this is another study which we published in Journal for the Education of Gifted Young Scientists, no? another Scopus publication that we had in 2020. I co-authored the paper with Ms. Uh, Janeline Macanas, and as you can see, we started with the intervention. No? Inuna namin ngayon ang intervention. And then we used descriptive words, its effects, and then pupils no, as our participants, and then the skills to improve, conceptual understanding and matter. So in this case, we use the IDPS framework, the IDPS framework. So as you can see, present pa rin, no, yung ating four elements. Another example, biology learning strat station strategy or BEES, its effects on science achievement and attitude towards biology. So tignan natin ilang elements naman yung present dito. Of course, our intervention, the BLEES, this is also a contextualized and, and a customized okay, uh, instructional strategy which I use, which I use in um, the achievement and attitude towards biology of, uh, of high school students. And then we made you, I made use of its effects as descriptive words, and then the lawa yung ating tinarget dito, na skill and competency. The science achievement and the attitude towards biology. So, the lawa, no? the achievement and attitude towards biology. And nagtataka kayo, wala, hindi ko na ilagay yung participants. No? Pwede natin gawin yon if we are required to limit our title to 12 words or to 15 words. Because some journals require only 12 word count for research title. No? So, ito kasi yung idea, no? 12 words to 15 words. Pero kung mas maganda, hanggang 12 words, kung kaya natin yon na i-achieve, why not? No? Kaya later on, uh, magbibigyan ako ng some tips no what to avoid um, na, sa mga titles para ma maging brief, no maging concise yung ating action research title. At ito na nga yun, no So remember, a title that is too long will seem clumsy, no? annoy readers, and probably not meet journal requirements because some journals require po is 12 to 15 words. Some, but, you know, wala naman talaga. But of course, these are the standard na uh, word count na binibigay. Although some journals, okay lang na kahit mas uh, beyond 15 words. But of course, let's try no, in, in our end to uh, make our re action research title in 12 to 15 words. Ayan nga, use at least 12 to 15 words in your research title. This is based from literature and based from suggest of different authors who are uh, doing action research and who are formulating action research title. Now, you can see, or we discussed earlier the, the four elements, the dips, no? uh, descriptive words, intervention, skills, and participants. Now, I also showcase with you in different examples that this can be uh, arranged uh, in different ways. Now, we can use this one, DISP, wherein we use uh, we present the descriptive words, the intervention, the skill, and the participant, just like in this example. Our descriptive word is implementing. Our intervention is flip classroom model. Our skill is in teaching of history and then participants among grade 10 students. So our research title, implementing flip classroom model in teaching of history among grade 10 students. And so this is already our action research title. I actually base it from the study of Latif et al. in 2017. Another framework of the of the ISP is this one: effects of the. So that's our descriptive word. Online game kahoot. That's the intervention on science vocabulary acquisition. That is our skill, and then of grade seven students. That's our participants. So effects of the online game Kahoot on science vocabulary acquisition of grade seven students. 
na kompleto din yung ating four elements dito. Dito, no, I base it from the study of Pede in 2017. We could also use tips, no? Descriptive words, intervention, participant, and then the skill. Example, effects of, as descriptive words, brain-based learning as our intervention on second grade junior students as participants and the skill, mathematics, conceptual understanding on polyhedron. Our action research title, effects of brain-based learning on second grade junior students Mathematics Conceptual Understanding on Polyhedron. Our four elements are also present in this action research title, which I base from the study of Suarsana et al. in 2018. Another IDSP framework, we first include the intervention, then the descriptive words, the skill, and the participant. Example, technology-enhanced language learning, that's our intervention, its effects as descriptive words on vocabulary acquisition, that's our skill, of EFL learners as our participants. So technology-enhanced language learning, its effects on vocabulary acquisition of EFL learners. Ayan. So I based it from the study of Hassan Taj et al. in 27. Now, let's, let's try. No? Tingnan natin kung natatandaan natin yung mga uh, framework na ginagamit natin for uh, formulating our action research titles. So, let's first have enhancing grade 7 students' scientific literacy through localized materials. So, ano kayang type? No? Yung, ang dami nating type na sinabi, di ba? We can use DIPS, the IPS framework, IDSP, DISP, pwedeng ganun. So, in this case, Ano kaya yan? That's DPSI. So bakit? No? Descriptive words, enhancing, participant, grade 7 students, skill, scientific literacy, then intervention, localized material. So DPSI. And second, news reporting technique and improving Araling Panlipunan students' awareness on global issues. Ano kaya yung type ito ng ating... Uh, dips no ng ating um four elements ano kayang arrangements so that is idps the i here is the news reporting technique as our intervention in improving as descriptive words then the participant araling panlipunan students right and then a skill to enhance awareness on global issues so idps the last Effects of GeoGebra, GeoGebra software on the problem-solving skills of high school students. Ayan. Effects, GeoGebra, and then problem-solving in high school. So, yan ay DISP. Effects are, of course, are descriptive words. GeoGebra software as intervention, problem-solving skills as our skill to enhance, and, of course, high school students as our participants. So, malinaw na sa atin. I hope clear ito. No? So, you can always go back to the video if you find little um, confused. You find little, uh, you're still confused no? doon sa ating uh, different elements, especially on the arrangement. So, another tip to remember is that in formulating your action research title, you have to write down no? a few possible titles and then select the best to refine further. The titles that I presented earlier can still be uh, further enhanced later pag medyo master na tayo in, title, in action research title formula, formulation, pwede pa natin siyang maging, gawing mas sexy. No? So a sexier title or a more creative title. Another, ask your colleagues their opinion about the title that you have formulated para pwede silang mag-suggest sa inyo na mas ikagaganda pa ng yung action research title without compromising our four elements. Kasi dapat present yon at least present yung tatlo or apat para at least mas comprehensive yung at mas informative yung ating action research title. Now, wh what I do, no, for example, especially if you're a budding action researcher, nagsisimula ka palang gumawa ng action research, ito yung ginagamit kong uh, matrix in formulating the, the title for the action research. In the first column, I use the descriptive words. I have the descriptive words column. And then the skill, competency, or issue that I'd like to address or enhance. 
who are involved in the project, the action research project, and then the intervention. We'll have another um, research talk about formulating problem or identifying problem later on. But of course, uh, for the purpose of this, of this video, let's see how do I do this in order for us to come up with the title. So this is how I do it. Example, I have chosen effects as my descriptive words. And then the skill is science achievement. The person that I'd like to involve in my project is grade seven students. And the intervention that I utilize, that I want like to utilize is learning agham buddies or lab strategy. So how do we formulate the title here? It's up to you, no? Kung ano yung unahin natin, kung skills ba, kung persons involved, kung intervention or the descriptive version. In my case, I used effects of learning agham buddies or lab strategy in the science achievement of grade seven students. So very simple lang, pero informative yung title natin. Okay? Another, a tool to improve ang ginamit nating descriptive words. The skill that I'd like to enhance is conceptual understanding in supply and demand. Pwede mas focus no, yung in yung uh, action research title. For example, na masyado kayong uh, nararamihan sa isang unit or sa isang quarter, baka pwedeng isang topic lang muna. Especially the most, uh, the least no, mastered concept or the least mastered competency or skill. So in my case, I'd like to know the conceptual understanding in supply and demand no? and how I'm going to improve that. So my participants would be grade 9 students and economistic kids is the intervention that I'd like to use. So my title here is Economista Kids, colon, a tool to improve the conceptual understanding and supply and demand of grade 9 students. So I actually uh, come up with this particular title uh, with the inclusion of these four important elements. Another, increasing, I'd like to use that, interest in literature class, grade 10 students are my participants, and creative reading approach will be my intervention. And so, increasing the interest of grade 10 students and literature class through creative reading approach. And so, itong mga research title natin, itong action research title natin, ay masasabi natin effective because they contain the necessary elements in crafting an action research title, which we discussed earlier. Now, another tip to remember from Springer Nature in 2021, can you include the name of the school and school year in the AR title? Tumaraming siguro sa inyo ang nagtataka, bakit sa mga title na present walang name of school or wala man lang school year? Actually, uh, depende po yan no, sa guideline ng inyong division office or ng DepEd uh, office ninyo if they require you to include the name of the school and the school year in your AR title, then be it. So, i-include pin ninyo. Pero later on, if you wish to publish that for ethical protocol no, in the principle of anonymity to anonymize our participants in our local pwede nang i-drop yung name of school and even the school year. Kasi pampahaba pa ito ng title. Kasi minsan doon humahaba yung mga title. We can now uh, include no, the title, the, the school name or the school year sa manuscript na lang mismo. No? Sa loob ng manuscript under local probably or in the scope and limitation. Okay? So, yun lang, yun lang ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. I hope na uh, natuto kayo no, on how to formulate an action research title in a very simple manner and a step-by-step -step method, especially uh, designed for those who are still starting their action research journey and for those who are, uh, who are budding action researchers. So these are the references I use in this presentation. Again, I'd like to remind everyone that research is life. Happy researching. Maraming salamat and stay safe everyone.